Complete the following questions related to the unit circle. Use the Pythagorean theorem to prove that the equation of the unit circle is x squared plus y squared equals 1. Draw a circle with a radius of 1 unit. The terminal arm intersects a circle at the point x, y. Now construct a right triangle. The triangle has side lengths equal to the absolute value of x and the absolute value of y. We use the absolute values of x and y because technically the sides of a triangle must be positive. According to the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Plug the side lengths into this formula to get the absolute value of x squared plus the absolute value of y squared equals 1. Squaring any real number yields a positive result. This makes the absolute value redundant and it can be removed. We have now successfully used the Pythagorean theorem to prove that the equation of the unit circle is x squared plus y squared equals 1. Now we'll move on to part b. Prove that the point where the terminal arm intersects the unit circle, p at theta, has coordinates of cos theta, sine theta. Draw a circle with a radius of one unit. The terminal arm intersects a circle at the point x, y. Now draw a right triangle. The angle between the initial arm, the x-axis, and the terminal arm is theta. Label the sides adjacent and opposite. We need to find the adjacent side. Use cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse to find the adjacent side. The hypotenuse is 1 since the radius of the unit circle is 1. Cross multiply to get adjacent equals cos theta. Now find the opposite side. Find the opposite side using sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is 1 since the radius of the unit circle is 1. Cross multiply to get opposite equals sine theta. In the triangle, Replace the adjacent side with cos theta and the opposite side with sine theta. The x coordinate matches the adjacent side, which equals cos theta. The y coordinate matches the opposite side, which equals sine theta. Therefore, the point x, y is equivalent to cos theta, sine theta. Now we'll move on to part c. If the point p at theta equals negative 40 over 41, 9 over 41, exists on the terminal arm of a unit circle, find the exact values of the six trigonometric ratios. State the reference angle and standard position angle to the nearest hundredth of a degree. Cos theta equals negative 40 over 41. This is the same as the x coordinate. Sine theta equals 9 over 41. This is the same as the y coordinate. Tan theta equals sine theta over cos theta. Plug in 9 over 41 for sine theta, and plug in negative 40 over 41 for cos theta. The exact value of tan theta is negative 9 over 40. Secant theta equals 1 over cos theta. Plug in negative 40 over 41 for cosine theta. The exact value of secant theta is negative 41 over 40.
cosecant theta equals 1 over sine theta. Plug in 9 over 41 for sine theta. The exact value of cosecant theta is 41 over 9. Cotan theta equals cos theta over sine theta. Plug in negative 40 over 41 for cos theta, and plug in 9 over 41 for sine theta. The exact value of cotan theta is negative 40 over 9. To find the reference angle, select a primary, positive trigonometric ratio. We'll use sine theta equals 9 over 41. Take the inverse sine of both sides to find the angle. The reference angle is 12.6804 degrees. Since cos theta is less than zero, and sine theta is greater than zero, the angle must be in quadrant two. The standard position angle can be found by subtracting the reference angle from 180 degrees. The standard position angle is 167.32 degrees.